notice that I have actually highlighted my hair. Um, I've highlighted my hair once before, but um, this time I did it again and it turned out a little bit blonder than last time and it's still not like super super blonde um, and that's the way I like it. I like it to be a little bit in between light brown and blonde. So yeah, I hope you guys um, like this color because I think I do except it's kind of like stripes up here but you know. That's what you get for highlighting. In today's video, I thought I would show you guys how I curl my hair with a flat iron because I don't really curl my hair with a curling iron that often because I feel like my curls don't last as long if I do that. And I just really love curling my hair with a flat iron and that's how I curl my hair. Um, I really wish my um, my hair did last longer with a curling iron because I think those curls are really gorgeous as well. But um, yeah, so today I'm just going to show you guys how I curl my hair with a flat iron, so keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by spritzing a little bit of the Macadamia Natural Oil No Tangle Spray because um, I just bought this a couple of days ago so I haven't really tried it. It says that it is a pre-styler spray for all hair types that reduces breakage. So, that's good. So I'm just gonna apply this to my hair and I want to protect my hair and I want it to be tangle free. So I'm just gonna apply that. I'm just comb it out with my fingers a little bit so I can spread it out evenly. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply my Tresemme heat defense. Um, and this is just my uh, everyday heat protectant. And then I'm gonna take my Macadamia No Tangle hairbrush and just brush that out so I can distribute it evenly. Like that. And this is my natural hair so it's really straight except I put it up in a ponytail before so you can see the kind of dent here. I had to move back here and I'm sorry about that but apparently I couldn't plug the straightener into that wall over there because my lamp started like flickering and it didn't work so I just have to sit back here I guess and I'm sorry because I know the lighting is terrible and I really want to get studio lights but right now I'm saving up for my trip to America this summer, so I'm not gonna spend money on that right now, but maybe in the future. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to section my hair off in two pieces, and then I just take a piece from the back, about like this much, and I take my flat iron, and then I clamp it down, turn, and pull slowly away from your head. And that's a curl. Oh, that's a really terrible curl, actually. Let's try this again. Clamp the flat iron down. Turn and pull away from your face, slowly. Like that, and there you have a curl looks kind of weird but it's still a curl and so you just keep doing this to your whole hair or <laughs> all of your hair <laughs> clamp the flat iron turn towards your head until you have this little piece of hair hanging there and then you just pull away from your hair When you're just left with the hair that's closest to your face, I like to twist it from my face. So outwards, not towards my face, but away from my face. That's what I was looking for. 
Okay, so I just take this hair, and this is really hard to do without a mirror, but if you hold the curling iron like this, you can lamp it, then you turn it away from your face, away from your face, and you just slowly pull it back. And there you have the last curl. I'm gonna keep doing this to the other side of my hair and then I'll get back to you guys. So this is the finished look. Um, I really hope you guys like this tutorial because I've been wanting to do this for a while and even though I had some technical difficulties, I still finished it and I know the lighting sucks and everything but I really hope you guys like this curl and uh, I really do like it and I also wanted to mention before I say goodbye uh, that if you pull um, the hair slower uh, away from your head then your curl is going to be a lot tighter um, I like to mix it a little bit so I have a couple tighter curls and I have some looser curls and also if you want to you can comb it out with your fingers or with a brush um, I just like the way this looks um, because I feel like if I uh, brush my curls out then they won't last for that long because my hair is super duper straight so I'm just really happy that I've found a way to keep my curls for over a day which is awesome and I really love the look of the, these curls because I feel like they're glamorous yet they can be cooler a little bit more edgy curls or they can be super glamorous curls so I hope you guys get a good use out of this tutorial and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!